All right, everyone. All Good Enterprises is doing pretty well so far in sales and word of mouth. But I believe we need to expand our brand to a much bigger audience. So here's my idea for a marketing plan. We focus more on social media. You see, the wave right now for apps like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, are short one minute skits. So I say, let's get our own film crew. We can get all the people there and we could come up with some skit ideas that help us promote our brand to the public. So what do y'all think? I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's a terrible idea. I mean, skits, really. Yeah. See, I believe we can reach a much bigger demographic. Listen, James, I hear you. But our company focuses on home security. How are we supposed to make skits out of that? Easy. Other companies do it in their commercials all the time. All we need to do is put our own spin on it. No, no. Look, I think a much better idea would be to just keep doing what we're doing, all right? Following the wave of what all the other companies are doing is not gonna benefit us. It's a no for me. All right. What do you think, Vanessa? Well, from hearing from both of you guys, I have to say, I think I like James more. What? How the hell is his idea better than mine? He makes a good point. Despite us being in a really good place right now, we could reach out to more people. He, he suggested skits, Vanessa. Skits. What are we, in high school? Look, calm down. We should try new things. If we stick to what we've been doing, we'll never improve. I don't believe this. You know, it's times like this that I wonder how you got marketing manager instead of me. Well, they close my attitude. I can keep wondering. Whatever. Okay, everyone. This meeting is adjourned. We'll pick back up tomorrow morning. Everyone, get some rest. Thank you, by the way, for agreeing with my idea. I really appreciate it. No problem. I mean, I feel like if you do follow through with your idea, we can have something. So, good job. Oh, well, thanks. Um, part of me wishes Luke thought the same. Don't worry about him. He always thinks he's right. That's why he's in the same position he's in now. Yep. That's a shame. Speaking of positions, did you have another in mind? Funny that you mentioned. Yes, I do. Uh, thought about possibly becoming the creative director of the company one day. Wow. That's a huge position. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's whatever, though. No. Keep doing what you're doing. You have potential. See you tomorrow. So, how'd it go? It went pretty good. Vanessa liked my idea. Really? What'd she say? Well, she says she sees me as a creative director. Nice. It's been really impressive. So, you don't know how cold blooded Vanessa can be. Yeah, I know, man. I'm surprised, too. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this between me and you. Vanessa is fine as hell, man. Yeah. You have a point, she is pretty. No, 
No, man. I mean, fine. The way she carries herself, her look, her perfume, her ego. Dude, it's incredible, man. Really like her, huh? How could I not? I mean, she's probably into that hardcore stuff, too. Hold a guy down, tie him up, grab him by the neck, start choking him out and stuff. You know, that type of hardcore. Hey, whoa. Calm down. Way too far, man. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Sure you are. Mm. Enough about me, man. How about you? What do you mean? I mean, hooking up Vanessa. She seems perfect for you. I have to pass on that. Why? Because I'm engaged. You? You're engaged? <laughs> My man. Dude, how long? Going on about like three months now. Wow, oh, dude. Yeah, the best decision ever made, man. It has to be. Well, look, man, I'm not gonna hold you up too much longer. I gotta get back to the, the office, duty calls. Don't wanna get fired, you know how these people are. Gotcha. Hey, when you become the creative director and the CEO, don't forget about me. <laughs> I won't. Alright. James engaged. Man. See you later. All right, yeah. Good morning. I hope everyone slept well because we're picking things up where we left off yesterday. James, did you have any ideas for a skit? Yes, I have. Um, thought about possibly getting... This is a mistake. Excuse me? Do we have a problem? Yeah. I mean, you can't be serious. This is a joke, right? I'm very serious. Now, are we going to behave or should I report you for insubordination? Should I? Good. James, please continue with what you were saying. <clears throat> Thank you. I was saying that each skit should be in different genres. Interesting. What do you suggest we start with first? Comedy. Out of all the genres, comedy gets people's attention the most. Hmm. And why is that? Everyone loves a good laugh. You're right. I like it. What should it be about? Well, I thought about possibly getting like Two thieves, and the two thieves are pretty dumb. But How do they get in this company? All right, everyone. Good job. I think we discussed a lot today. Um, Luke and I were gonna stay back to tighten up some loose ends. Is that fine with you, Luke? Sure. Great. Also, um, James, could you stay as well? I I want to go over this idea just a bit more with you. Oh, sure. Sure, that's fine with me. This has been a long day. How are you guys feeling? <sighs> I've been feeling pretty good. I feel like I want to get the hell out of here. Can we hurry this up? What do you have so far? <sighs> Two house thieves get caught by all good security system. Police come to tell them that they, they played themselves. I can't do this. I can't do this. Can't do what? This! This is a stupid idea that a dumbass came up with. Yo, who do you think you're talking to? You! We are home security, not YouTube creators. Luke, calm down. No, I'm sick of this shit. I don't give a fuck. Write me up for insubordination if you want. I'm leaving. Sure. Isn't he kind of important to the group? 
I mean, yeah, but I can handle it. All right. So shall we begin? Sure. <clears throat> So um, the reason why I actually asked you to stay back, because um, we kind of need to go over the production portion of everything, just to get some things clarified. I was thinking if we got the fam crew Friday, um, it'll work out kind of perfectly for us. Let's see, let me just double check and see. Okay, yeah. They're working it day, okay. So with that off the board, well maybe we can call, you know, he's busy that day too. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm gonna jump, yeah. I really needed that, honestly. No problem. It happens to the best of us. You know, I just get so overwhelmed with all this work, I forget to relax sometimes. So, I really appreciate you. For as long as I've worked here, no one has ever asked me how I felt. <laughs> Let alone the calm now. Thank you, so. I'm glad to. It's funny. I've worked with Lou for so long, but in terms of business partners, I choose you over him any day. Wow. Let's let's put this to an end. Um, I have to go pick up my daughter, and it's it's getting pretty late. We can just figure all of this out on a later date. Um, yeah. Plus, I'm sure you have your girl to get to. You don't want to have to wait in. She's out of town, so I have nothing to worry about. Oh, well, she's one lucky girl. She has a hard working man. Yeah, she does. Do you have someone? No. I mean, I get so caught up in work. I don't even have time for it, to be honest. Well, I hope you find someone. Yeah. Me too. Um, yeah. You, you ready to go? Yeah. Thanks again for staying today. We definitely made a lot of progress. Oh, no problem. Uh, that's exactly why I stayed. You know, I think we work better as a team. Oh, yeah, I agree. We do. 
I mean, you and I. Oh. Oh, well, um, sure, yeah, I agree. Great. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Jay. let you know that the deadline for the project is actually tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. I received an email this morning stating that they wanted to find a draft ASAP. Okay, wow, this was completely unexpected. Um, um, you want us to stay here after work again? I mean, I really wish, honestly, but they're closing early today, so we have to meet somewhere else. Okay. Um. How about a Starbucks? No, Starbucks is way too crowded. How about my place? Your place? I mean, yeah, I can just send you the address and we can work on the project there. Um, I mean, um, what about your daughter? What about her? I mean, I can definitely make sure my daughter is well taken care of. Thank you for your concern. Well, um, that's, that's fine with me, sure. Great, thanks. Well, I'll send you the details later, and I'll see you later tonight. What? When I hit the jackpot. Wait, what you mean? She wants you to come over to her house, James. It's pretty obvious what that means. What? No, 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 no. Look, this is strictly for business. Besides, Vanessa isn't that kind of girl anyway. She's not that type of girl. That's what you say now. Look, man, you just heard her. She just said that the deadline is tomorrow. So, this is important. The deadline? Yeah. When has Vanessa never been ahead of a deadline, James? Look, all I'm saying is just don't put anything past her. Okay? Yeah, I hear you. All right. So, that girl you were talking about, huh?
sir. But yeah, um, so, like I said, I got into contact with some people, and uh, there's a Tyler Smith, he could be our cameraman, uh, Emily Cohen is great for sound, uh, there's Oliver Ross, he could be one of our producers, um, there's, uh, there's Nicole Tillett, she could be great for, you know, lighting. Uh, as you can see, this list just goes off and on. You weren't playing, were you? Nope. <laughs> I need a break. Unnoticed, right? Um, what do you think about it? I mean, I think they're great. <laughs> we could really use their help. Really? That's great then. How does that feel? Is it not a ring on your finger? Does your fiance know you're here? No. Don't so.
She wants you to come over to her house, James. But Vanessa isn't that kind of girl anyway. All I'm saying is just don't put anything past her. Invited you over here to do business? Yeah. The deadline isn't until tomorrow, correct? James, the deadline for the project is next month. What? You're so gullible. So you mean to tell me that, that all the hard work that I did was wasted so you could have sex with me? Don't act like you didn't like it. I didn't. Bullshit. I mean, I can tell you like it just by how you was touching me. I still told you no. But you didn't stop me either, did you? No. No, I didn't. Thought so. But I shouldn't have had to do that. Let me ask you something. When you tell a person no, and they keep going, that's harassment, right? Okay. Okay. So, what makes this situation any different? You're a guy. What? Guys can't get harassed. I mean, y'all supposed to like this type of stuff. Yes, they can, and that's what you're doing right now. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Let me ask you something. If the shoe was on the other foot, you told me no, and I keep going, I'm forcing myself on you. That sounds like rape, doesn't it? In a way. No, no, not in a way. That's what it is. You, but you gotta admit, like, there's something between us. Vanessa, I've told you, I'm done. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, dude. I made it back home. Just wondering, where, where are you? 